All right, guys, I'm going to show you something that a lot of people have been wondering. Is it possible? Is it going to happen? Can I get my T-Mobile um, device on Verizon? As you can see now, it's connected. And if we go over here, take a look. T-Mobile LTE is on. And you want to know how you activate it on Verizon? Well, here's the trick. Um, you might not know this, but super hard. Not really, but I don't know why people are making such a big deal about this. I'm going to go ahead and take out my SIM. Go ahead and take out my Verizon SIM. You saw the other one was T-Mobile. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. Like so. Go ahead and do that. Wait a couple seconds. Gonna, it says emergency calls only right now. Once it boots up and gets up and running, we'll get you set up and going. Um, a lot of people said it won't work, doesn't work, whatever. Verizon that won't activate it. Um, if you don't have a nano sim that's currently active, go into Verizon, take the IMEI of the Droid Turbo, the Max, Moto X, whatever it is, go online, activate it, get it, get it over with, and then you'll be able to activate it. So as you can see now, it's on Verizon Wireless. Pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing else to do. Um, a lot of people were wondering if it was possible. It is. That's all you have to do, literally. Um, if you have any issues with it, like I said, just go into any Verizon store because they won't activate it since the uh, device is not in the system. Go ahead and get the IMEI of any device that has a nano SIM. Go on to your My Verizon, pop that in, uh, IMEI with the SIM, activate it, pop it in your phone, full LT. That's it. That's all. Um, it was a quick informative video for other people who want to do this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's just a quick video again, so it is what it is. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.